Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.142, okay? It says, the race car has its initial speed VA equal to 15 meters per second at point A. If it increases its speed along the circular track at the rate of acceleration, tangential acceleration equal to 0.4 S in meters per second square, where S is in meters, Determine the time needed for the car to travel 20 meters. Take rho equal to 150 meters. Okay, so in here, what they're giving us is this graphic of our race car that is starting at point A and going around this circular track. They're giving us the radius and they're also giving us the initial velocity that we need to, uh, that we have um, at point A. And they're asking us basically how much is the time that we need in order to travel 20 meters, okay? So, the first of all, let's start writing our givens. They're giving us that the velocity at A is equal to 15 meters per second. Then, they're also telling us that our tangential acceleration is equal to 0.4 S, which is in meters per second, square. And they want us to find the time. So, when what is this time? When our position is equal to 20 meters or our displacement we need to take our row to be equal to 150 meters let's not forget that this row is the radius okay of curvature so in order to start solving this problem what we need to come back is into previous chapters where they gave us an equation that said that our acceleration times our displacement change in displacement has to be equal to our velocity times the change in position, uh, in velocity, I'm sorry. Okay, so after we recall this equation, what we can implement is an integral on both sides in order to find, so we will do an integral on both sides in order to find our velocity, okay? And after finding our velocity, we use the principle of knowing that velocity is the change in position with respect to the change in time and then knowing this we can find the time okay so let's just start by doing the integral so we got the integral of our acceleration so we're doing integral on both sides in here and our acceleration is was given already to 0.4 s so we got 0.4 s then we have multiplied by ds so we got times ds has to be equal to the integral of v dv. Now, what we need to know is the boundaries for these two integrals. So, on our left integral, what we have is position. Therefore, we need to know the initial position. We're going to assume we start at initial mark, so at zero. And we're going to end up our final, which we're just going to make it a variable to be s, okay, for the final position. For our right hand, we got velocity so they're giving us that the initial velocity was 15 meters per second so we're going to put 15 meters per second and our final velocity we're just going to name it v for uh, velocity okay so now if we solve the integral on our left side we'll have 0.4 s to the second power divided by 2 if we divide 0.4 divided by 2 that will give me just 0.2 okay and we're evaluating this from our boundaries from 0 all the way to our final position s. The integral on the right side will get v squared divided by 2 and we're going to evaluate it between 15 and our final velocity. So if we evaluate this on our left side we will have 0 0.2 and we're going to change this s for this s, so it's just going to look the same, s squared, minus 0. Why 0? Because when we replace this 0 for this s, so this s for this 0, I apologize, this entire term will cancel out, we'll have minus 0. Therefore, we will just have 0 0.2 s squared. Now we're done on the left side. What we have is our right side. We're going to replace this v for this v. So we'll have the same thing again. v squared divided by 2 minus. And then in this case, we're going to replace now this v for this 15. So we're going to have 15 squared 
divided by 2. Okay, now the last thing that we need to do is solve for this velocity as our initial plan was, right? So let's first realize how much this 15 squared divided by 2 is. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will realize that this is equal to. So we got that this is equal to 0 0.2 s squared equals to v squared divided by 2 minus 112.5 after we know how much that number is. If we try to solve for our velocity, so let's solve for it. We got velocity squared divided by 2 has to be equal to 0 0.2 s squared plus 112.5. Then we can say that we're multiplying on both sides. We'll have that velocity squared has to be equal to 0 0.4 s squared plus, and then if we multiply by 2, this will be equal to 225. Okay? Then we will do the square root on both sides. So our velocity will have will be added to the first power. And then we will have the square root of, we'll have this square root of 0 0.4 s squared plus 225 and we solve for our velocity now that we have our velocity in here what we need to say is like okay i have my velocity but i also know that my velocity is is also equal to the change in position divided by the change in time so the change in position with respect to time if we were to solve for the change in time so our change in time has to be equal to our change in position divided by our velocity. And then after that, we are going to apply integral on both sides, okay? So let's just start doing that. On the left side, we'll have an integral. So we got an integral of our dt, our change in time, has to be equal to the integral of our change in position divided by our velocity. Hey, but I know what this velocity is with respect to position, which is in here. This is the velocity that we found before. Therefore, what we're going to do is that we're going to replace that velocity for our square root, 0.4s squared plus 225. And all we're missing now left is just the boundaries for these two integrals, okay? So in our left side, we have time. And this curve, we're going to assume that we start at zero time, that, and then it's going to end up at the final time that we are trying to uh, calculate, okay? And our right side, we have position, because we're talking about the change in position, and the position started also at zero, and the final position is given to us. Well, they're asking us, they're saying to us, calculate the time when our position is equal to 20 meters. So we already know that our final position or the position that we're interested on is 20. So we put from 0 to 20 of this integral, okay? If we solve the integral on the left side, we will realize that this is equal to just t. And if we solve the integral on the right side with our calculator, just to make uh, things a little bit easy, we will realize that it's going to be 1.21 seconds, okay? So this will be our final answer for the time that it takes to this race car in order to find the 20 meter mark okay so if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one